Hey guys, it's Sissy and today we are back and playing on the Be Happy Mod Pack. It has been a little bit since I have played this. Um, I just haven't been recording a ton recently and so then since I haven't been recording a lot of things, I wasn't recording this. Um, but I am very happy to be back. Hopefully I remember what we were doing and remember how to use some of that machinery back there. Um, we are joined by our zombie pigman friend. Um, who kind of came through that nether portal <laughs> last time and uh, he's still hanging out. I was kind of surprised when I logged in and saw him because I forgot about him. <laughs> I forgot that he was there. So, um, hello friend. You're still here, still hanging out. Um, so yeah, I guess we should just take a look at what I was even in the middle of doing. Um, okay, to show quests. Okay, so we had done genetics one. We created the common bee and then we gave it in and we got the, oh no, we gave in the mutagen producer and the advanced mutatron. And we got the bealizer, honey drop, diligent drone, genetic sampler, a blank gene sample, and genetics labware. So, all right, so yeah, we have all of this thing, this things, all of these things up here. Um, so, we need to, um, so we did this one and we're working on this one. This next quest creates a mutation. Once you turn in the genetic analyzer, I will give you all the things you need. Was that, did I give that in? No. I, I don't know. <laughs> um, oh, and they might mean this thing that I'll give in afterwards. You'll notice that the template is empty. Combine it with the sample that I've just given you. Hold on. Um, put it in the apiary, it'll make the drones. I just forget where exactly we were. Okay, so this is what we have to do. Um, now you have a common queen. If you put it in an apiary, it will start producing combs and spare drones. So we did that, I think. The common bee has fertility too. You can analyze it with the bealizer. Just analyze the bee that you get so you can see all the characteristics. Then put it in the gene sampler and it will give you an aspect. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I just forgot exactly what we were uh, supposed to be doing here. So let's put the genetic sampler, I'm guessing maybe here. I, yeah, probably needs to be hooked up. Yep. And that is working. So with the bealizer, it runs on like honey. So we can put the honey drop in here and we need to analyze this B. So it is um, diligent, has a short lifespan, slower production, slow pollination, flower type is flowers, okay? Two times the fertility, that's what we're hoping to get. We want to get that gene from it, I believe. So this has been um, analyzed, so now we can uh, see all of its little details. And then, um, if you want it, you'll need a genetic sampler. So it'll take one of, so we put it in here with the blank gene and the labware, and then it'll start, um, analyzing or it, no, it'll start uh, sampling one of the genes. Gosh, <laughs> there's so much to do. Um, I really need to try to like keep up on this and like keep recording it because then I like kind of forget what we were doing, forget what I need to do, yada yada. And we will be getting a gene sample taken from a beat, effect none. So did I not get anything from that? Um, you get a 1 in 13 chance to get the fertility too. Just analyze the bee so you can see all the characteristics, put it in the gene sampler, and it will give you an aspect. Don't worry about the aspect that you get. You might get a very good one or one that is more common. I think I got none. <laughs> is that possible? <laughs> when you start getting more bees, you will be able to get a massive amount of samples so you can modify bees to be whatever you want. So, 
yeah, effect. Not I. I don't know. Um, we'll we'll just have to see what uh what comes next. So we are gonna give in our genetic sampler now. submit and claim the reward. Once you turn in the genetic analyzer, I will give you what you need. The template is empty. Combine it with the sample that I've just given you. Oh, this is the template. Okay. All right. Hold on. Let me make sure that I put this like away because I don't want to confuse it with the other one that there was. The other sampler that the other sample that we're getting. Claim reward. Um, combine it with the sample that I've just given you. So combine the template and the sample. So combine this template with this sample and you get, oh, a genetic template which can be applied to a B with fertility four. Oh, okay. So this is the, okay, taken from a B, fertility four. Awesome. Oh, and we get the blanked gene sample back. That's nice. Um... You will see that it now displays one out of 13 chromosomes and it's fertility four. Now I give you an analyzed B. You can check it in the b -lizer without honey because it's already been analyzed. So let's do that. Ooh, short, slowest, slowest. Ooh, rocky flowers. Uh, one fertility, so we're trying to boost that fertility up to four. Okay, we can do that. You'll see that it only has fertility one. Use the genetic imprinter to combine this B with the fertility for template. Okay, so we will do the genetic imprinter. Do you want to help? Are you our new little our new little apiarist? I think that's what it's called. Okay, so then we'll put the B, the labware, and the genetic template so that then that B will eventually become um, a bee with four fertility. All right, you're gathering. I hope you're gathering. Uh, you, you should be gathering. I don't want you to run out. I'm gonna break off a couple of these just to kind of make sure, like, I don't need you to be working right now. Um, but orange is out and blue is in. Okay. All right, so that should hopefully Hopefully this is all working. Oh no, this is getting depleted. Um, okay, no, 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 it's filling back up. Okay, good, good, good. I, I just was worried about this thing. Okay, so we'll just work on that a little bit. Jeez, it's really difficult to like get back into it again. <laughs> it really is. I just like have no recollection of what I was doing. So yeah, I really do need to um, make sure that I'm playing on here more often so that that doesn't happen anymore. That's weird, I have to actually break the potato. Um, <laughs> eat a little bit of bread. And See how this is going. All right, fifty-three percent. I will come back when it get up gets up to a hundred percent. Okay, so this is almost done, and the B. Um. Oh, and I get to keep this template. That's kind of awesome. Let's analyze this B to see what fertility it has to make sure that it worked <gasps> fertility four okay awesome so this is really great we're really figuring out like how this all works break you b 
because I believe, oh, I kind of thought I got to keep my B, but I don't. That's sad. <laughs> this is only for learning. I'm not surprised, um, but still I'm a little sad. So did you analyze the B? Did you see that the fertility changed? That's it. This is very simple. You can have a gigantic setup to collect samples and produce your own bees. If you want to learn how to use these machines to get your own bees, watch a Gendistry Spotlight. If you want to breed them the old-fashioned way, watch a Forestry Bee Spotlight. I hope you learn how to work with bees, and I hope you like this mod pack. I do. <laughs> I know that you want to keep all the good things that I gave to you, but these quests were only the tutorial. Complete some more quests here and in Chapter 2 to get these items again. Thank you. Okay, so that'll be awesome. So let's submit the items that we got and we will get a chunk loader um so we are finished with that quest line right there and i need to i guess kind of look up what i mean I, I the basic idea of a chunk loader is that it will keep a chunk loaded i just want to make sure that there's i guess we could put it down and see if there is anything we need to do Ooh, show lasers whoa Okay, that, that's cool. So it'll always keep these chunks. Um, that's really awesome. Loaded. That's really cool. So I'm just going to leave that there for right now. Um, so that way, even if like I'm somewhere else, like if I'm over in the nether or something like that, like things will keep working over here. So let's see what else there is for us to do. I don't, I don't want to choose yet. So let's go with this. Redstone and glowstone are really hard to get with bees. A lot of lightning and bites. This quest helps you in the early game by giving you dust so you can relax and do mutations more calmly. Um, flint. Okay. Oh, so I already got the 100 stone. So now I just need to get one, uh, how many flint? forgot that quickly 16 so do I have no I do not have any uh what's it called flint not flint um gravel the place where you get the flint from so I just want to see what was it okay the pulverizer okay so if I pulverized nether rack that's why I had the nether rack okay so if I pulverize um we'll do like we'll do 16 and see where that brings us hopefully that will i mean yeah that'll work um not in the furnace in the pulverizer and that's still hooked up to there very good very good and we'll just wait for these to finish pulverizing and i will come back when i have my flint Okay, so the pulverizer is all done pulverizing everything, and we now have our 16 flint. And we got glowstone dust and redstone. I don't exactly remember what I needed that for. <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of looking. Hmm. I mean... All right, so we are, um, you know, all basically done the basic tutorials. So I guess what's left is to pick out what we need. Oh, actually, oh, well, that's actually going to be really easy. Hold on. <laughs> Trust me. Um, let's grab our cobblestone because, uh, yeah, I have plenty of cobblestone. Um, how much is 250 stone? What am I doing? <laughs> Maybe not 75%. And that should be more than enough. Yep. Okay, so. Let's finish this chapter. Have five different species of bees and choose to waste your energy with the apiary 3000, which is the industrial apiary. Or... Don't waste energy, but have an apiary that's old. Don't worry, you'll never regret that decision. Let me see real quick. Um, okay, so this, 
Oh, what in the world? What in the what? <laughs> I was like, oh, that won't be hard to make, but like it kind of is. Um, what apiary serum? Um, and the industrial apiary. Oh God. Oh. Um, I mean, the energy like. I can get more of the um, solar panels, I think, somehow or another, and more ways to create energy. Oh, oh, okay. So this is, I'm just taking a look. So glass and iron to make these mirrors, and then three mirrors and this to make, okay, that's not that bad. And then an induction smelter, lapis, and a mirror to make the photovoltaic, oh wait, okay, and then the redstone, re okay, and this looks a little crazy, but you know, I, I think we'll be okay, I think, I think we should go with the energy wasting, <laughs> I don't, I don't know, this is a really difficult choice, um, Because, hmm, this is very difficult. We used the industrial aviary. That was what we used for the tutorial, correct? Yeah, we. I don't think we ever used the other one. So you know what, I think we should just go with that one. And what am I doing? <laughs> Why can't I go to it? There, oh, what? Okay, open. <laughs> what? Oh, so there's even more after, did I? <laughs> Interesting. So let's go with the industrial aviary. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I really hope that was an okay choice. Um, tell me what you would have chosen. I'm just curious. Maybe I can try and do one of those fancy dancy little polls. I've never done that before. Um, and say which one you would have gone with, the traditional or the industrial. I'm just gonna write that down to remind myself. Poll. Um, yeah, I think that would be kind of fun. I know, I thought we were almost done, but we still have a few more, uh, oh, 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 okay, cool, so we do get a couple more solar panels. Um, powering Gendistry machines is not easy, but imagine having two solar panels of the second highest capacity and nine good flux ducts. It's a great dream come true, right? That says eight, but that's okay. Um, so 32 oak wood. I don't know if I have any actual wood. Oh, okay, so I have 22. Um, so I just need to chop down a couple of trees. Okay, so, excuse me, okay, what, what the heck? Oh, <laughs> leaves, I was like, why can't I get up here? Okay, so we have our 32 oak wood. Uh, oh, and cobblestone, 64, police, that's chump change. Come on now. <laughs> and then we get these solar panels. So let us put these mirrors down. Um, we will put them here and here. Blue is in, orange is out. So I need to try to turn this. Oh, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Blue. So they hold... like a billion <laughs> was that a billion i'm trying to look 16 million <laughs> i kind of i was trying to look at the zeros but then they all kind of started blending together okay cool cool so that will help with this energy cell oh my gosh look how much that is already like beefing up oh my gosh this is gonna make life so much easier um the thing is i am definitely going to have to move things around that's i've known that for a long time now so let's take a look at the wool. 
Beds and string, etc. Wool can be used in a lot of recipes that can help you to build some machines or blocks like the bed. When it's night, your solar panels will not work and you need to wait for the sun to rise. Well, not anymore. Have some wool and build a bed for yourself. So we need 64 stone and I think that's only one thing that we're gonna need. We're gonna need more than that. Well, there's one stone. Um, I think I'm just gonna, um, smelt it. Just because I feel like it's a lot easier than wasting, not wasting, but using up my water and lava, um, here with this. So, oh, you can come here. So we will let those finish up and then, uh, I will come back to you. All right, so we only have a couple more stone left. And then we will be ready. Play fit. And let's manual submit. Oh, I thought there was going to be more. Claim reward. Thank you. So this will be awesome. I'll be able to sleep through the night. Um let's make a bed right now let's do that one two three one two three all righty so we will put it like we'll be... oh, <laughs> apparently we're gonna put it there i didn't mean to actually put it there but that's where it's going apparently so we'll put the rest of that in here and let's see, oh, dirt. Dirt is a crucial item to plant saplings and cheese. How about 6,561 dirt blocks? That's a lot, right? Um, you need to do some harvesting and collect 128 oak logs. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's a little annoying, but not annoying. I mean, it's worth it for what all you're getting. Um, but yeah. So I guess I will work on that and I will come back to you when I am done. Actually, let's check to see what the other thing is first. With these bees, you can now start producing some combs, but it's slow. In this quest, you will get some flame frames and productivity upgrades. They will increase the probability of getting combs and specialty products. Um... Okay, so at least these don't have to be handed in. How do you get the damp combs? I don't think I have any damp queens. Oh, a water queen, river queen, or ocean. Oh, I might have them. Okay, yeah, I have a water queen. Um... I guess we could put down our apiaries. And if I put one here, will it gather? Oh yeah, okay, cool, cool. So I need an oh, queen though, and a drone, right? Oh gosh, I'm scared. <laughs> I am scared to be doing this. I'm scared I'm going to mess something up. Oof. All right. So we need the damp one. So let's put... You can now start producing some combs. You'll get some frames and productivity. They will increase. Um, oh, do I just need the queen in there? So I think I do need, we have th three forest princesses, forest drones. So I'm not too worried about using them. So let's do that. Oh wait, I didn't need a drone. Okay, so it is working. Just right now it doesn't have any sun. So let's go to sleep. <gasps> 
novel idea. Our first map. Awesome, awesome. So this is working. I do not need a drone in there, correct? Yeah. It would tell me if I did. This will just take a while. So I thought that we would get through um, the rest of everything today, but I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it's going to take a little bit longer to get done. But that's okay. Um, I don't mind. <laughs> I like that it is kind of taking me a little bit that it's not just like play it once and then you're done and there's nothing left for you to do. You know, like you play through it quickly and then what else is there? Ugh, I gotta look at this again because I'm really worried that I'm gonna mess this up. So what we can do actually is try to breed. So we can put a drone in here. We'll put this forest drone in because I'm not that worried about um, wasting it because I have three of them. So hopefully that will be okay. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna, I don't think we're gonna be able to finish this all today, which is a bummer, but worse things have happened. I might come on in between the next time I film or record and now and just kind of do the trees. I won't do anything else. I'll just kind of water and grow trees to get that huge amount of logs because otherwise I feel like it's going to take a really long time. <laughs> even, I mean, and even so I would still just kind of skip through it anyway. So I think I'll do that and I won't. I might like look at this, but I'm not gonna do anything about it. Oh, I should. Oh, I don't have a beelizer right now. <laughs> I was gonna be like, oh, I should beelize, be analyze this, but beelizer. Oh my gosh, yeah, I don't have the stuff for this right now. So yeah, <laughs> I feel like we'll be getting another one at another time. So yeah, we are. We are really on our own now with, uh, not on our own, we still have all the quests, but um, we're just trying our own little things now, trying to breed things and trying not to royally screw up breeding things. Hopefully, hopefully I can achieve that. <laughs> oh, I just noticed you can see the little bees flying out. That's so cute. Like, sometimes one of these little graphics will show up fast enough. I don't know if you can really catch that, but like the little particles coming out are little itty bitty bees. That's so cute. So yes, I really hope that you enjoyed. Um, I will try to play this more often now so that I don't forget what I'm doing and how to do things in between then. Um, please give me any tips or tricks if you have them, um, because I would definitely love to hear them, especially if you are well versed in the mods. I mean, otherwise the quest book has been, um, oh my gosh, so amazing. So helpful. I would not be able to figure this out at all if it were not for the quest books. Um, so yeah, I will, um... I'll work on growing the trees before the next episode, hopefully. And then I will see you guys next time. Bye.